Hey yo, what is up guys? It is Dragonfly Todd here coming at you with a brand new game news video number 8. And today I'm going to be talking about identity first. And just the fact that identity is getting so much heat right now, guys. So basically, there's been a lot of problems where they have, you know, told the people that the, the um, Count Square module would be released, you know, first quarter or second quarter 2017. And now we're almost or we're like near the you know the third quarter and the fourth quarter and everyone's wondering where the town square module is and where this video is that they're supposed to be releasing they did say that they would be releasing a forest video also so that's something to look forward to whenever they actually do release that every time I go into the discord the identity unofficial discord that the developers are on I I always see like people in there arguing about whether the game's a scam or not or you know the, the fact of the matter that they are not actually replying to emails asking about refunds and stuff like that and you gotta think also guys they have got they get tons of like emails from different people not even a, not even pertaining to you know uh, refunds and stuff so maybe you know it's kind of spammy in there and they look through them but they don't get to your email so what I'm saying is you're gonna have to send them about 800 emails and then they'll probably actually look at your email second e3 has been crazy this year boys and girls ladies and gentlemen we got crackdown 3 coming to Xbox maybe hopefully PC on uh, the November 7th 2017 and it's gonna be pretty good honestly you're gonna be able to break down a bunch of different buildings and crackdown 2 is really fun especially like the sandbox elements in the game Assassin's Creed Origins is set to release October 27th, 2017, and you will be able to control a eagle or a bird or whatever, I don't know what kind of bird it is, but you'll be able to control the bird and he'll be able to actually go scope out different places for you. I, I think it'll be similar to the Ghost Recon Wildlands drone kind of thing that you'll be able to do with that bird. The combat does actually kind of look like they're going for a more Dark Souls kind of take on it. And I'm pretty excited about that because the combat in the other Assassin's Creed was way too easy and you could beat the game in like one hour, you know what I'm saying? Next up, we got a new Metro game coming out called Metro Exodus. It's going to be like the, you know, the post-apocalyptic type of thing and we'll be able to, you know, go explore and scavenge for different items and stuff like that. Next, we got this new game called Anthem. It's going to be a co-op type thing and it's the environment looks amazing, guys. The, this is one of the best things that I've seen and it kind of gives me a feel of a Horizon Zero Dawn type type of game and the fact that, you know, they they're making it pretty pretty original and the art style looks really good, but it does kind of give me a Destiny type of feel including the co-op aspects but I do definitely think that this game is gonna be fun a little bit better than destiny and yeah you can actually like jump around and be on a different jetpack and there are different suits that you can try out if you guys want to learn more about the game there's an e3 footage on it and I'll maybe link that down below if I'm not lazy next up we got the Bruma Skyrim mod this Bruma mod looks crazy it's gonna be coming with different uh, quest lines characters uh, a whole new story and area to put onto the game. It's going to be 1.5 times the size of the Dragonborn DLC for Skyrim, and yeah, I think I'll be definitely picking this up. I don't, I don't know if it's going to be free or not, but I can definitely go check that out. And guys, I just wanted to say that I'm really sorry. Summer has been crazy once again. I'm sorry that I have not been able to upload. I'm trying to live stream and stuff. So if you guys want to head over to the live streams, that would be really fun. I'll be able to interact with you guys, talk about different video ideas, maybe even get some input for you from what you guys want to see on my channel. Just wondering, do you guys want to see gameplays and stuff like that, or do you want to keep want me to keep it on the news and live streams? I will definitely be playing Identity whenever it does come out. Hopefully, it comes out, and I'm really, ex I'm really excited, guys. I'm really excited for this game, and honestly, I'm really excited for most games that are coming out. Xbox looks like it's killing it this year. They got a, quite a few uh, exclusives that I want to play. I'm hoping that the exclusives of Xbox go to PC eventually, and of course, there's going to be kind of, you know, a couple months between the release of the Xbox exclusives and the release of the PC. So I'm probably gonna get burnt out on the game by the time it does release on PC. But anyway guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up. And I kinda wanted to make a different type of video, maybe showing my PC setup and also some other setups. Actually my brother, you know you know he has a, a channel, Wacked Prism. 
yeah we um we got him a Dell and Spiron PC and it was a dinosaur dude we actually took out the graphic we it didn't even come with a graphics card we put a 1050 ti into it we had to break like three things off of the pc to actually fit the the graphics card in there but it works just fine now he'll be live streaming pub and stuff on twitch and he'll also be going for the youtube type thing so if you guys do enjoy this make sure you leave a thumbs up go ahead and leave a comment down below maybe if i can improve on anything and if you guys want to go ahead and follow me on twitter that would be highly appreciated because i need followers and support i love all you guys and i'll see you in the next video peace